I think Kenyans are very hungry, not because of food, <laughs> but they're hungry for results. And uh, I saw some people are saying that the economy is bad. I think the economy as to the food on the table is not an issue because the hunger to know the results is higher that we're not even noticing the hunger of the economy. So I guess that somebody said that if, if uh, we have a few days to go now, we are almost going to the uh, 70, is it 72? For 72 hours by evening since the poll closed and uh, that means three days. He has four more days to go. We have uh, 291 constituencies to read. We have read one. How many forms should we be reading? Uh, form 34B should we be reading per minute? We discover that every 20 minutes he should be reading at least a constituency to make that number work. So if you look at it by time going, are we getting there? So those are the questions now we're asking. I, may, I know that uh, these things can be done so that they can come with one form and maybe read like a hundred at a go, probably. But I'm trying to say now he has to move at that pace so that we can get the results on time. But maybe to weigh into the discussion about the, secure, the security system of IBC, mm -hmm. uh, you know that the banking fraud in Kenya has been going up, penetration of the banking system fraud has been going up. Mm -hmm. So if a banking system can be penetrated and can have security fraud, uh, we do not know how IBC is. I'm only banking on the fact that IBC was given 44.6 billion shillings mm -hmm. and they should have bought technology, the best that money can buy yep. to protect because IBC's most important thing is not money. You know, in the bank, you try to, to, um, to hack it to make money. But here, imagine you're hacking for data just for information. Can you imagine?